very good morning to you and as promised in my last video I'm dedicating um, this video to the passing of Donald Roberts uh, <clears throat> Don Navy Goat and we're going to be using this special stuff this is soap made for him by uh, PAA or Crown King as it was then you can see Navy Goat and this is a <clears throat> Lavender Bay you can see there that was made for him and it, Don sent me this uh, kindly and I've bay rum with lavender beautiful mixture and a good quality soap as we know from from PAA or Crown King as it was then um, oh is that a separate thing anyway PAA make it lovely and I've put some of that in the fine bowl there in the bottom and we're going to use another razor uh, Don sent me and this is the Gillette 195 adjustable or very famously known as the Fat Boy and the reason I've found out it's called the Fat Boy is simply because if you remember I used this um, Gillette Slim adjustable well that is a fatter version <laughs> it's just a fatter razor really um, F4 this is a 19 fourth quarter of 1960 this one so we're going to take it all the way it's on number nine now on its highest set in there and in there we're going to use if I can find this what am I doing with this it's here somewhere bear with me that's the one the King C it's only marked on one side the King C Gillette and this is a third use for this blade so there you go yeah so uh, dedicated to Don Navy Goat um, the reason I'm doing this well two reasons really very kind to me as many of you would know if you followed me for years uh, he was the one sent me a box of some duplicate razors he had he had a big collection and anything he had two or three of uh, he sent me one and um, it amounted to about 20 25 razors in all lots of them Gillette some were gems single edge uh, there's a chic in there um, and I've used them all I think uh, some more than others and I use them but I look after them and I really appreciate them um, and secondly this is for because he was a big part of the shaving community uh, not just on this channel other channels he's very kind to other people and uh, in the foot you know, in the Facebook and forums and things like that so um, and of course he served with the United States Navy for a good part of his life so a gentleman so that's what we're using today Mrs. H told me those were dedicated to him in his memory as well so uh, and uh, fantastic I'm going to use my brush again Paul H Films um, so we'll get lathering this up and then uh, we'll try and do Don uh, well make a good shave of it not make a hash of it <laughs> hopefully he'll be watching yeah So I'm not sure, as I say, he's passed, I think, within the last two weeks. Um, so I'm not sure if his funeral has been or it's about to be held. Um, so I'm not sure if any of the people that related to Don, his family are watching, will watch this or his friends. But um, if it's been, I hope it went very well. And if it's going to be very soon, I hope it all goes well. I think it'll be. A sort of military funeral will it the navy i think look at this just absolutely beautiful like whipping cream on a cake that's beautiful look at that that's we were peaked to perfection so we'll wet the face Right, 
here we go and I believe it was um it would have been his birthday uh, was it last Wednesday oh. Poor old dog. Right. Lovely scent. Um, I wouldn't say this isn't, it's bay rum, but it's not a very strong, powerful, you know, with a hitch in the face. Uh, it's mixed with lavender, so it's a beautiful combination, actually. You wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that. I'd never put bay rum with lavender, uh, only with witch hazel, maybe, but. Um, it certainly works, so he knew his, you know, he knew what he was doing. Because um, obviously Don picked this scent when it was being made. And I think they sold a lot of them, um, I believe. Or did it, um, I think they made a batch for him and he, oh, I think he may have just given us gifts maybe. Um, but I'm sure you could buy it. Uh, I'm not sure now. But either way, you know, it was made by PAA and um, very well received. So set in nine, this is the Gillette, as I say, the 195, this is official name, adjustable, or fat boy as we call it. And uh, first pass using the Gillette, King C Gillette, third use. Here we go. And I've actually got slightly less whiskers than I would normally have um, because I'm filming this a day before I usually film um, because I'm not here. Me and Mrs H are uh, we're heading out. I'm thinking she's got an appointment or something. You know what it's like with ladies and hair and uh, whatever, whatever else, <laughs> hair I think, is, yeah. hair appointment. I could be wrong, it could be, yeah. nails or whatever anyway so I'm the chauffeur that is a lovely first pass um, blade works well for its third use probably on that yeah so the scent strength in this from the puck yeah it's about a five in the puck on the face when it's lathered it mellows a bit so it's about a three three and a half maybe um, very nice though, very nice, good, as always, good s slickness. And I expect Don had many, many shaves using this soap very proudly. Okay, glasses back on. We're going to take it, open it up, and we're going to take it down. Tell you what, let's go to seven. Lucky seven, shall we? Quarter turn. Lovely. Here we go, cross the growth.
These are lovely razors. I've said it probably thousands of times, you know, made um, with pride. Uh, you know, when the world wasn't solely on um, selling mass, mass produced, even though these were made in their thousands and they were made to last. I mean, they weren't sort of, it wasn't just a quick buck thing where make them, sell them, they'll have to rebuy them in a month or two. It's, you know, they were made to, well, look at it, 1960. No doubt Don was uh, out on the sea then, on a naval ship somewhere. That is lovely, good slickness, very nice. I like, it's, Bay Rum is not everybody's cup of tea as we say in Britain. Uh, you may say everybody's cup of coffee in America, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, look at this, beautiful, isn't it? Um, it's a scent like Marmite, you either, or Vegemite. You either love it or you don't. Well, I won't say you either love it or you hate it. There are people who love it, there are people who hate it. Um, but I like it. I neither hate it nor love it, I like it. I like to use it now and again, really enjoy it. I'm gonna take it down again. Can I do this? No, I can't do it with glasses. Anybody else have to wear glasses for reading and close work now that you didn't use two years ago? <laughs> uh, we've got a number five now. against the growth. I was talking to the optician that did my eye test and she was telling me that um, was it 30 or 40? Once you reach 30 or 40 it could be 40 maybe your eyes start to degrade if you like this that's a lose their strength um, but some people lose it younger some people use lose it from 40 quicker um, some don't because I work with a chap who's he's six months older than me and doesn't wear glasses for anything so he's under the um, his eyes are sort of deep not deep, well, what's, what's the word Degrade and uh, getting weaker, uh, slower. So he doesn't need. He may not need glasses for another five, ten years. Maybe I don't know. But um, I expect this in your family genes as well, isn't it? My late father never, never wore glasses generally. He had to have them as I do now for reading closer as he got older. But my mother, she had to wear glasses continuously through when she was past 70, I think. So she did well. But she also needed them for reading um, much younger. In her 50s, I think, yeah. Sunday lunch is going to be um, a P 
piece of belly pork as they call it, it's a sort of a, if it was salted it would be bacon as you have in America, streaky bacon we call it, the long strips, um, but it's not, it's, it's um, if it was salted and cured I should say, but it, it, this is just uh, pork, just as it is, unsalted. So, and it's got the skin on nice and crispy. Two strips, two pieces like that. Like, I might have two of them. And uh, doing some mashed potatoes, creamy mash. Notice I'm not going into detail this time, I'm trying to hold back and <laughs> spare the blabbering. Pork, belly pork, roasted, mashed potatoes, garden peas, carrots, and gravy. There you go. That's that. So lovely slickness on that. That's a nice scent. I do enjoy Bayram and lavender. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. So we're going to. We'll leave it on number. Where are we on number five? We'll leave it on five. Nice. Listen to that. That's lovely. That. I thought I had I just caught it. Yeah, lovely slickness. Just a bit here. Perfect. Cold water rinse. Thanks again for all the comments on these flowers. Um, obviously, Mrs. H does read them, like I do, and uh, she's very grateful. Always tells me to say because she enjoys doing them, and it doesn't take—I don't think it takes ten minutes for us to do that. I'll have to film it, her actually doing them, but uh, when she allows me to do it. She likes peaches when she does it. <laughs> anyway, get on with it. So, being that this is bay, uh, lavender bay, we're going to use the th lavender witch hazel. That is lovely. Yeah, nice match. Nice match, and then I do sometimes put a bit of thought in these shades. Huh? We're going to use this. This is the Pinard Clubman um, Virgin Island Bay Rum, and I thought I'd use it Bay Rum. And of course, you got the ship there with the Don being in the Navy. So I put it in this bottle, by the way, if, you, if you're thinking I've never seen it in that before. Oh, this is good. This is. This is old school classic this. This will be barbershop stuff. Oh what beautiful when they had old leather, I can just see it now, old thick leather seats and a fella there with a leather strap dropping his raisin. He'd have a moustache here, white shirt and an apron. Whew. 
solid floor, wooden floors, and the place would reek of things like this. I imagine. That is lovely. And then, Bay Rum Aftershave Balm, Captain, Captain's Choice. And I believe Don was the rank of Captain uh, in the Navy. So, it's worked out well. There you go. That is not, I'm going to have to use Bay Rum more often because I do like it. Some people don't like it like a, don't like a sort of clovey scent or a, so some people see it as a medical scent. And, but I like it. It feels, you feel clean and um, it's lovely. So what have we used? Gillette 195 adjustable. As I say, famously known as the Fat Boy. This is the F4, so it's the fourth quarter of 1960, and this was gifted to me by the late Don. Sad to say, the late Don, uh, very kindly. As was the United States Navy Goat um, Lavender Bay Shaving Soap. Uh, I use that sparingly. Lovely, really nice. Uh, Paul H. Films brush by DS Cosmetic, thank you very much, the Fine Lather Ball, uh, Welsh Water, we've been all over the world, in America, we've been to <laughs> China, we've been to Wales, the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel, the Pinout Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum, Aftershave or Cologne, and the Captain, Captain's Choice Bay Rum, Aftershave Band, and that is it, so um, as I say, this is dedicated to Don, so my best wishes and condolences um, from across the pond uh, to his family and his friends. Um, you'll be sadly missed within this community and um, his kindness. So uh, God bless Don and may you rest in peace. All the best to you all and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.